Best design happens when everybody is designing together. Once we finish our design and we can take that model and then give it to the shop drawers who will actually use it as the basis of their fabrication model. So they'll then use that to form the actual individual piece drawings that you get to fabricate each, each piece of steelwork. So you know, that original geometry gets transferred all the way through to the, the final guy you know, doing the welding and cutting the steel on the fabrication floor. So what happens at a steel fabrication factory is steel sections arrive from steel merchants and other loose fitments and then they're assembled into the final members that are required for the structural steel erection on site. There'll be some laser and plasma cutters that'll cut up the loose plates that are required. There'll also be uh, various welding um, techniques that are employed in the factory as well. Uh, there's many different types of steel and I guess that's what we call different section types so that'll be uh, called up by the engineer on the structural drawings whether it's universal beams, box sections, angles and the like. Then after the sections have been fabricated they then get transported to a paint factory uh, where they're prepared. After they're finished at the paint factory that's when they get loaded onto a truck and then they're basically transported out to site for us to install them. The steel, once it's manufactured via the shop drawings, will always have a identification number or a beam number placed on it. When the structure is required to be installed, we'll call up for those particular members of the shop drawings and the, the beams that are required for that installation will be delivered to site. When the beams get to site, we look at the sequence in which we need to install the steel in and that determines which beam goes up first, second, third. Some of these beams need temporary support whilst we're constructing and that's done by a temporary engineer for the structure to ensure that the stability of the structure is there at all times. Key factors that need to be considered when you're installing structural steel is the site environment, what restrictions are placed on you in terms of installing the steel. Also the size of the elements you can deliver to site, which is typically governed by the, the transport and what can be delivered. And then also thirdly is the capacity of your cranage or materials placement um, on site. So the capacity um, of that will determine the weight and thereby the size of the sections you can deliver. So the bolt selection will be determined by the engineer and uh, he'll specify bolts based on the capacity, the tensile capacity and the size. And that's uh, determined through his structural design and load run downs and each connection will have a specific bolt design that will deal with the forces that are going through that connection. During the installation process, there's various checks that's done by the structural engineer. The structure installer also does ITPs which ensures that bolts are fitted correctly, the right size, the right type, and to the right tension. 